The Trojan War was a big fight between the Greeks, also called the Achaeans, and the city of Troy. It all started when Paris of Troy took Helen from her husband, the king of Sparta Menelaus. This war is a really big deal in Greek mythology and has been talked about in a lot of Greek stories, especially in Homer's Iliad. The Iliad talks about just four days and two nights in the tenth year of the war, while the Odyssey is all about Odysseus' journey back home. There are also other poems that tell different parts of the war. So, that's the story of the famous Greek War. The Trojan War started with a prophecy about the Olympians and a love contest between Poseidon and Zeus over a sea nymph named Thetis. To avoid a powerful son, Thetis was married to King Peleus by Zeus. At their wedding feast, the goddess of strife, Eris, threw the apple of discord, which sparked a fight between Aphrodite, Athena, and Hera. They went to Paris to decide, and Aphrodite won by promising him the most beautiful woman, Helen of Sparta. Paris then abducted Helen, leading to the Trojan War. Another theory suggests that Zeus started the war to kill off some of the overpopulated demigod population. After Helen was abducted, her husband got his brother to lead a mission to bring her back. Agamemnon convinced other Greek heroes to join him, and the war lasted for ten years. The Greeks left a wooden horse outside the gates of Troy, and the Trojans debated whether to bring it inside. The horse was a plan made by Odysseus, and it was wheeled in front of the city. After the Greeks sailed away, the horse opened up, and the soldiers inside destroyed the city and won the war. The Greek heroes who made it through the war found out the gods don't let things slide. They won, but most of them got punished. Only a few made it home, and even fewer were welcomed back. Some were killed by their families, and some were exiled. And in some cases, both things happened. The Trojan War was a big deal in Greek mythology. It's the earliest myth we have written down, and it paved the way for the Odyssey and the Iliad. This summary should give you a good idea of what the war was all about and how it wrapped up. It might not cover every single detail, but it's a solid start for anyone wanting to learn about Greek mythology.